So to the blind eye, these tomatoes that I have growing inside my grow tent here seem pretty healthy. They are producing fruit. Tomatoes are growing. But I noticed we have some blossom end rot. So all these ones that I have pulled off the tomato plants are turning brown. It seems like as soon as they get to a certain size, they're turning brown. So we're going to try uh, refreshing the nutrients, adjusting the pH and the EC on each of these. Give them a fresh start and see if we can stop this blossom end rot and get some a good harvest of tomatoes. So I use these inverted tomato cages on my uh, tomatoes here, which works out really good for giving them stability, but it's going to make it a little tricky now to treat this plant and change out the water because I don't really want to have to remove this cage. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to remove some of these lower branches that are kind of dying off. I'll just run a test on the water here and show you what levels they are right now to see where they're at, show you where we, they should be, and then we'll go from there. First I'm going to test the EC level and see what it's at. So it's giving me a reading of 3853, which is 3.8. According to my little chart here that I follow, the tomato should be 2 to 4, so it's really not that bad as far as the TDS level. So the pH is coming out at 6.63 which according to my chart is not overly high. It's a little bit over the range that it should be, but still not super high that it should be causing a problem with the uh, blossom end rot. The other thing that could be happening is a calcium deficiency in the water, which is something that can be adjusted using some CalMag. So I'm just going to mix up a new batch of nutrients with some CalMag added to it and refresh these containers for my tomatoes. Let's see what happens. Start by removing the plant with the cage and temporarily relocate into this pail. The roots don't look super healthy. I might give them a bit of a treatment with some uh, peroxide and water as well. And I'm just going to dump out this nutrient water and mix up a fresh batch. So while I mix up my uh, nutrients, I have put some water into this pail, added two capfuls of hydrogen peroxide, and just giving those roots a little soak in there. So I'm gonna mix up a four liter batch of nutrient water here with my two part root farm. It's easy that way, because this is uh, the measurements on the back here are based on a four liter container so I always use this as my starter once we get it into the uh, container for the plant it we may be that we have to water it down depending on how the the EC levels come out but first of all I'm just going to mix it all up in here and hopefully this is enough to uh, fill my three containers that I'm replenishing so we're at the uh, mature growth stage for these tomatoes. So I'll be using the measurements uh, provided here for mature growth stage. So part one is 15 mils, part two is 10 mils. And these caps work out to be five mils a piece, so that makes it easy for measuring. And the measurement for the CalMag is one teaspoon per gallon. So four liters here is the same as a gallon. So we'll be adding one teaspoon to this mixture. OK. 
Okay, so now we're ready to set up our container for uh, the tomato to go back into. And as per my chart here for the tomatoes, the EC level we want it to fall in between is the 2.0 to 4.0. So I'm gonna pour this in, take a measurement and see if we need to add water or what the EC level turns out to be. So I have about three inches of nutrient water in there. And let's see what the EC level comes out to. So it's coming out pretty high, 6948, which is 6.9. Okay, so I just kept adding a little bit of water at a time and measuring and adding a little bit more water, measuring, and I now have it down below that 4.0 at 3.7. So I'm gonna stick with that right now. So now that we've got the ECs kind of at a level that we want them to be, we're going to check the pH. So again, I look at my card for tomatoes. We want to have that pH level somewhere in the 6.0 to the 6.5 range. So let's see where it's at right now. So usually with the pH meter, you sh are supposed to leave it in there for about 30 seconds to make sure you get an accurate reading. So it seems to be sitting at 6.53. So that is pretty much on par. I'm not gonna mess with it tonight. Like I said, I like to just get it close and check it daily over the next week and just see, see how it goes. So this tomato is ready to go back in here, put it back into the grow tent and I'll bring out the other two and do the same thing with them. So I'm just working on my third tomato plant here and it has definitely got some blossom and rot issues. I'll just show you the tomato. I'm gonna remove all the tomatoes off this plant that are showing uh, signs of blossom and rot because they're not going to get any better now. So I'll take them off, feed them to my compost bin, to my worms, I guess. So this one came out with a little bit of a high pH in it. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna bring that pH down. It's not too high. Um, it should be for the tomato somewhere to the 6.0 to 6.5 range. And it's reading right around seven. So it's not super high, but I thought I'll just try a couple drops of the, whoops, not that one. Make sure you use the right one pH down. If we want to bring it down slightly, it seems like with my water that the pH is normally higher than lower. So I'm just going to add, and it doesn't take much, three drops. We'll see how that affects it because we don't need to go down too much. A couple more drops. just about at that 6.5, so it's pretty close. Maybe a couple more drops. It's pretty much right on 6.5. So that's good enough for today. So hopefully soaking these roots in this water with some peroxide is going to give the roots a nice little cleaning and treatment. trimmed off some of the lower branches that were kind of dead and lifeless. I've taken off all the tomatoes, like I said, that have the blossom end rot. And we'll put it back in the tent and see if all these things we've done to it tonight are gonna help these tomatoes. Okay, so all three tomatoes have had their nutrients refreshed. I've adjusted the EC levels and the pH levels on them. The nutrients contained a little extra CalMag so I'm not sure what else to do to try and save these tomatoes and improve the uh, quality of them and get rid of that blossom end rot. 
So I will keep you updated. Um, check on these every few days. I'll continue to check the levels in the water to see if they stay the same. If anybody has any other suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments. So it has been a couple weeks since we have done the treatment on these tomatoes where we refreshed the nutrients and added a little extra calcium. And I'm going to just take out one of these plants now. We're going to have a look at it up close and see how it's doing. So it has been a couple weeks since I have refreshed the nutrients on this plant. And since then I have been checking the uh, EC levels and the pH, uh, keeping it adjusted, adding a little more nutrients, adding water, depending on what it's uh, been doing. And I've noticed that since that I have been maintaining that process with this plant that it really has been um, absorbing a lot more uh, water so I'm checking it every few days and finding that it's drinking drinking it quite a bit faster than it was so I think th that is a good sign that you know the pH level is at a at a good level that the, the plant is um, able to absorb the nutrients and so we're just going to have a quick look here at whether we've solved the blossom end rot problem and I've noticed on these little ones here that I still have that issue with them um, and then over here we have another batch of tomatoes coming so I've been checking the bottom and I see I still have a bit of a problem there but these other ones not so bad so I'm hoping that you know this is helping out a little bit I'm also been mixed up some Calmag in water here and give it a little shot of that just to give it a little extra calcium. So this is my other tomato plant I just brought out and I believe I had removed pretty much all the fruit that was on it that was showing the blossom end rot and we got a whole batch of new tomatoes coming here and I don't know if you can see this but so far no signs of blossom end rot on the bottom of these. And there's another small batch coming here. So far, so good. So I'm hoping that this treatment um, process that I'm following now with my nutrient water is working. And we're going to keep getting some uh, tomatoes that are going to hopefully grow a little bit more and ripen. I just wanted to give you a close-up here, too, of the roots. Um, I think that they have really improved also since giving them a soak in that peroxide water. There's lots of healthy air roots coming here. Uh, they look fairly nice and white and healthy, so that's good. So before we put this uh, tomato back into the grow tent, I'm just gonna test out the EC levels again and the pH. So right now the EC level is showing at 3.45. So according to my EC chart here that I usually follow we're still within that two to four range so that's okay I might just add, top it up just because the, the level is getting pretty low here with a little more nutrients a little more water get it balanced before we put it back like I said I've been finding these tomatoes are really drinking up the water a lot quicker now so you really have to keep an eye on it every day because um, I found that it's just some days all of a sudden it is dry which causes a little stress on the tomatoes so we'll test this again so still below four just give it a little splash of water and then we'll just check the pH here so the pH is registering at 6.6. .6. Here's my range that I like to keep it in. So I'll give it a little shot of the pH down just to bring it down just a little bit. Again, only one or two drops is needed. So it's sitting at 6.47, so that's good. So this tomato plant is ready to go back into the grow tent and hopefully in the next couple weeks we'll see some ripening happening. 
So if you are having any issues with growing in tomatoes indoors, I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you haven't started growing food indoors hydroponically, I hope that you will give it a try. I have a whole bunch of videos on my channel that you can check out and learn how to grow food indoors using the Kratky hydroponic method. Thank you for watching.